It is May 1st, so it is time to reveal the 2021 Nutmeg Book Award nominees. Here you will hear the nominees at the intermediate level. For some added fun, can you guess whose voice is announcing each book? One of the 2021 Intermediate Nutmeg books is Restart by Gordon Corman. In this book, the main character has an accident and loses his memory. He has no idea who he is or who he was, so he has to start his life over. And as he's learning more about himself, he finds out that he doesn't really like the person he used to be, and he wants to make some changes. I think you'll really love this book, Restart by Gordon Corman. Introducing The Great Treehouse War by Lisa Graff a Nutmeg 2021 nominee. Winnie Melody Morath takes up residence in her treehouse and soon her neighborhood friends follow. What starts as an epic treehouse sleepover soon turns in to an epic treehouse war. The neighborhood kids versus their parents. You'll definitely want to dive into this book to find out who ultimately wins in the end. Hi kids, I think you should read the book The Peculiar Incident on Shady Street by Lindsay Curry. Not only because it has the word peculiar in it and any book with peculiar in it might be a particularly good read, but because this description sounds amazing. A girl unravels a century-old mystery after moving into a haunted house in this deliciously suspenseful mystery. Tessa Woodward isn't exactly thrilled to move to rainy, cold Chicago from her home in sunny Florida, but homesickness turns to icy fear when unexplainable things start happening in her new house. Things like flickering lights, mysterious drawings appearing out of nowhere, and a crackling noise she can feel in her bones. When her little brother's doll starts crying real tears, Tessa realizes that someone or something is trying to communicate with her, and it involves a secret that's been shrouded in mystery for more than 100 years. With the help of three new friends, Tessa begin, begins unraveling the mystery of what happened in the house on Shady Street, and more importantly, what it has to do with dun-dun-dun, her everybody, this is a certain someone who wants to recommend Macy McMillan and the Rainbow Goddess to you. It's a great read. It's a poem book, so it'll go fast, and it's about a girl named Macy who is deaf and is about to go through some changes in her life when her mom gets married. And Macy does some work for the woman next door whose name is Iris, hence the Rainbow Goddess. It's funny. It's quick. It's a great story. For the Nutmeg Challenge, I nominate Framed by James Ponty. Yeah, this is a story about a 12-year-old boy who is a super sleuth, a detective, and he uses his theory of all small things, or toast, to navigate such difficult questions as where to sit on the first day of school or what Chinese restaurant has the best egg rolls. But then he gets a call from the FBI, this boy, and a huge case comes to him in which he has to do an investigation in an art museum in Washington, DC. I'm intrigued, I wanna know more. I am so excited for this list of 2021 Nutmeg Book Award Intermediate nominees. One that popped out at me was titled The Nameless City by Faith Aaron Hicks. This is the first book of three in the series. And here the city keeps on being invaded and every time it's invaded, it gets a new name. So one of the main characters, Kai Du, and his nickname is Kai. I love that name, Kai. I almost named one of my kids that years ago. Kaidu is a new outsider of the city, 
and he's from a privileged family and he's one of the sons of the outside invaders. Another character is Rat. And Rat was born and raised in the Nameless City and at first hates Kai for everything he stands for. But Kai ends up loving his new home. So you need to read this book and find out how the two meet and what happens to the Nameless City. I think you should read the book New Kid by Jerry Craft. Entering a new school definitely has its challenges, learning a new culture, trying to share your differences, exploring these ideas about why I can fit in, why I can't, what are the barriers. But it also provides an opportunity to reinvent yourself, and that's exciting. I can't wait to read I Love You, Michael Collins by Lauren Baratz Logstead. This is a story about a 10-year-old girl named Mammy and her class, and they're all writing letters to the three astronauts, because it's back in 1969, the three astronauts who went on the Apollo 11 mission to the moon. So everybody's heard of Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong. Those are the guys that walked on the moon. Well, Michael Collins, he was the guy that had to stay in the ship. It's kind of like us these days. We can't leave home. We have to stay home. We have to stay in the ship. So historical fiction, I can't wait to read it. Hope you're excited too. The book I'm looking forward to reading is Front Desk by Kelly Yang. The theme of the book seems to resonate with what is going on with the world today. It is about a 10-year-old Chinese-American immigrant girl who manages the front desk of a motel while her parents clean the rooms. She faces racial intolerance and financial hardship. Will these obstacles get in the way of her dreams? Start turning the pages to find out. I really want to read the book, We're Not From Here, by Jeff Rodkey, because I'm curious what the one family will do to show that humans are good. I can't imagine spending 20 years traveling somewhere and then I'm not welcome there. I think the book will be suspenseful and maybe even a little bit funny. So I'm really looking forward to reading this book. Here you can see all of the 2021 Nutmeg Book Award Intermediate nominees all in one place. Read as many of them as you can, and then next year in April, you can vote for your favorite. Just a note about all of the images. They come from the official Nutmeg Book Award promotional materials.